Hey friends, today we are checking into Lowe's Portofino Bay here at Universal Studios Orlando. This is my first time staying at a Universal Studios Resort and I'm super excited because Gracie is going to be staying with me. It's her first time staying at a Universal Studios Resort as well and we're here for the Orlando Informer Meetup. Anywho's, let's go do this. Because it's the holiday season, Gracie's got her Christmas nails on. Look at these. Oh yeah, show me them. Show me your nails. They're little red nails with snowflakes on them. And then she's got her Hufflepuff patch and a nice little pink bandana. And she's ready to explore. Are you ready to explore Portofino Bay? Huh? You ready? Come on, let's go. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> We are all checked in and we already have our room. I brought our backpacks to the room already. We didn't really pack much. You know, I brought some extra clothes. She brought an extra collar. And uh, now I figure we just go around and give you a little bit of a resort tour and also show you the room. And also just see how cool it is to be at a pet friendly resort and to have Gracie experience this beautiful place. Like, cause it is like stunning. Like when I first like drove in here, I was in awe. We're staying in the east wing and we're gonna show you the room in a second, but I wanted to show you like this courtyard area. They've got a Starbucks, a Universal store. They've got a couple different restaurants, uh, some coffee shops and some lounges. And it also looks like they're putting up their Christmas tree for the season. The Orlando Informer is a special meetup. Well, it's like a separate ticketed event where they actually rent out the park and you have it all to yourself and you have all you care to enjoy food, no wait times for attractions. And a part of that is you can actually get hotel packages and deals. So you can actually book like a separate ticket to go to the Orlando Informer meetup and then also get some amazing discounts at some of these resorts. And now this resort itself is, uh, I think like a deluxe resort. Like this is like a very very high-end resort and I feel like so fancy being here I can only imagine what Gracie thinks right now I'm actually trying to get some nice photos because like it it's so beautiful here I'm trying to get this all in the background and uh, Gracie's like so well behaved she kind of just chills out she's always just like hey as long as nobody comes near her she is like a little skittish but uh, for the most part she'll not she will never run away like she won't like leave me or anything like that she's always got to be right next to me and always by my side is that a good girl yes you do she always got to be right there well i always have to be right there I think we're gonna head back to the room and I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour. But eventually later on in the video, I'm gonna go around and explore a little bit more with Gracie. And here it is, 11.45. Come on. Go ahead, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Or not. This room is so big. It's not like big in like space, but like the ceilings are so high and there's just so much open space. I love it. It's very cozy. It's got carpet. Gracie likes it. The bed's nice. The furniture's nice. We're going to give you like a grand tour. Soon as you walk in, you got a little coffee dispenser right here. Got some French roast, there's some green tea. And then right in here, this is what I was talking about. Look how like high these ceilings are it's insane and the bed is so beautiful it's like like i said very cozy in here and we also got a little dog pack lowe's loves pets we'll take a look see what we got in here oh we got a dog dish we've got oh that's nice we got a little poopy bag holder oh some treats from bark avenue bakery look at that you want a treat? Oh, two treats. This is really nifty. Oh, we got a little mat. I think we have to set her up here. A door. We're going to put this doggy downtime. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have to give her like the full setup. She's pretty particular about her bowls. So I don't know if she's actually going to use that. But I did bring her bowls from home. And I'll set them both up. Because, you know, we don't want that to go to waste. And if she does like it, then we're going to keep it and I'll bring it home. And that'll be like one extra set that we can use maybe for traveling. But back to the room tour a little bit. Like they've got a mini fridge in here. Like I just like all the furniture. It's, it's very nice. And like very fancy. A nice little table. And here's our backpacks. This one is Gracie's. This one is mine. And then we've got a nice little chair over here. That chair looks very comfortable. 
Not much of a view though. I mean, it's a it's a very pretty view, but no balcony or anything like that. I thought that was a little like shocking. Oh, you move so quick. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, it's a nice nice room and very big. But oh, I got to show you the I got to show you the bathroom. Yeah, right over here at the bathroom. Look at this. It's a very big bathroom. Probably got a little bit of an echo in here. I like all the uh, soap and toiletries here. Ooh, this is fancy. What's in there? Oh, nice. And then uh, the shower. Ah, pretty nice. We're gonna put this on the outside of the door so they know we've got a doggy on the inside. <laughs> Look at that. Enter with care. Oh, this is where I hung her leash to. <laughs> Seems like a good spot. I'm gonna put her little doggy dish right here. She's got Lowe's pets. This is her water dish. She loves this water dish. And then this is her food we bought from home. Sealed it up to keep it fresh. There we go. And there you go. I guess we'll give her one of these Bark Avenue bakery treats. Huh? You smell it? Who's a good girl? Are you a good girl? It's in the shape of a cat. <gasps> Ready? <laughs> now that she's all settled in, it's time for us to head over to the Orlando Informer meetup. But wow, take a look at that sunset happening right here on the water. That is beautiful. The meetup is from 7 p.m. till 12.30, but you can get in as early as 5 o'clock. The park shuts down at 7 o'clock and all the guests are asked to leave who don't have a ticket to the Orlando Informer meetup. And that's how the wait times are so low. And then you get to enjoy all the food you care to enjoy. Even butterbeer. All the butterbeer. Hot, cold, and frozen. Another awesome thing is this is the winter meetup. So we're gonna be able to have all the holiday festivities and see the Christmas decorations here at Universal Studios. We might even see a Grinch or two actually while we're in there. And that's got me super excited. I'm excited to try a whole bunch of different food that I've never had at Universal Studios. Now's the time to do it because everything is like free. You already paid for it with the ticket, so you get to go into all these locations and just kind of grab and go. And it's like everything, like every like iconic food stop that is actually in Universal Studios is included in this. So you can actually try things that you've always wanted to, but you never did because you didn't have the money for it. Looks like things are a little bit different this year and where you actually get the Orlando Informer meetup registration is right here to the side. Before it actually used to be in between Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. But it's nice to be right here because then you get to see all the Christmas decorations. It also looks like a storm is brewing. The logic behind actually doing the Orlando Informer meetup is a single day ticket at Universal Studios is $169. This ticket is $219. It includes all your food and also it's like having an express pass as well. An express pass can cost you $100. So if you get an express pass and a single day ticket, then you're looking at $269 where you pay $219 and you get to eat for free as much as you want. So honestly, it just makes sense, especially from a money standpoint. And that's if you want to get a lot accomplished because you can basically get everything accomplished in one night for the Informer Meetup, where if you do it without like an express pass, then it could take you two days actually. Now we're all checked in and we got ourselves our little ticket and our wristband and I like the way that the Orlando Informer does things like they're so personal about things they even give you the phone number so you can call or text if you have any questions as you're here but now we're good to go something that's a little bit new this year in the past like I said the park is open from 5 to 7 for everybody but you get to go in a little bit early and they want you to actually eat before the meetup actually starts so you can have food throughout the whole entire time and this year they actually give you a gift card that you can actually go buy whatever you want uh, you know what I mean as like the park is still in regular business hours you can go buy a meal if you wanted to and that's really nice I think it's $15 so now you can knock that off the price too we 
have finally made it in. And look at it, it's so nice out today. I really, really love the fact that we're here for the winter meetup because it's nice and cool. It's like 70 degrees out and a lot of people are leaving. Like I said, you're gonna get this park pretty empty into yourself and I can't wait to just ride rides and eat food. I love hearing all the Christmas music and I can't wait to actually see the tree all lit up for the first time. And also the tribute store is open. So I'm getting to experience like all the holiday uh, festivities during the Orlando Informer meetup. Look at how beautiful it is here. I just love it so much. <laughs> oh, the Christmas music, it's just really hitting the heartstrings here. Universal Studios does a great job with the holidays. I have to give it 100% credit on that. Especially like this like street setting right here. It just makes me feel like I'm in New York City. You know what I mean? It's really amazing. My ultimate goal tonight is to be your guide to find all the food items all throughout the park because even though like some of these places are iconic they do serve some of their food items that they would normally do but some places actually have different food items you know what i mean like i remember getting uh some wings actually at finnegan's that were absolutely amazing that was last year i don't know if they're gonna be this year and just some of my favorite food items you know what i mean so i'm gonna show you like all the food spots Along with all of the food items, I want to show you all the Christmas decorations, like this tree right here. I have to say this is the King theme park tree. No other theme park tree is as big as this, I don't think. Like the girth, it's so big, I love it. And it's so beautifully well lit, like the lights are great and they, I think they change and they twinkle. Very, very cool. King theme park tree. If you guys are interested in purchasing tickets to an Orlando Informer meetup, I'm gonna put all the information in the description below. And there's a couple like already scheduled for 2022, but you gotta get the tickets fast because they do sell out. Tonight is a sold out event. Uh, they also have, I think, in December. So like there's multiple times for like the winter meetup and there's one in December that I think is already sold out too, but I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes spots actually open up, so you always wanna reach out and check the website. That's why I put the information in the description. I think I'm gonna actually go wait inside Finnegan's for the event to officially kick off. It's starting to rain a little bit, not too bad, just a little bit of drizzle. Hopefully it actually stays away, but we'll seek some shelter in Finnegan's. There isn't a better place, really. When I got into Finnegan's, I ran into some friends and take a look at these shirts. Orlando Informer checklist. Rides, food, park hop, food, rides, and Earl the Squirrel. I love it. Oh, wow. Oh, you guys are great. These shirts are amazing. <laughs> Bye. I feel like my plan of attack is to get a couple of items to eat over here at Universal Side, maybe ride the Mummy and E.T., and then hop on over to Islands of Adventure to see if we can catch the Grinch, and also ride Velocicoaster and Hagrid's, and then eat a bunch of food over there. I also want to try one of each Butterbeer, so I want to try hot, cold, and frozen. You know what I mean? I gotta try them all, maybe more. Who knows? Right now, I'm gonna Bud Light. It's about 7.30 and we're coming up on our first wristband check and that's actually to get in Dog and Alley. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yep. Have a good time. Oh yes. <laughs> so right now, there is definitely nobody in here except for people from the Orlando Informer meetup, which is really lucky to me. And this is just the beginning. Oh wow, you can see a big difference already. <laughs> it's empty in here. The food isn't available for another 30 minutes. But the butter beers are available, and I think that's a pretty good way to start. So, our first butter beer of the night. Right here inside the Leaky Cauldron. I am excited. <laughs> in fact, now that I'm in here, uh, I don't think we're just gonna stop like with. In fact, now that we're in here, I don't think we're just gonna do some butter beer. We're gonna do whatever Harry Potter drinks they have available. So like if they got pumpkin juice, I'm gonna try pumpkin juice, I'm gonna try it all. Like we're gonna do like basically a whole entire Harry Potter drink fest. 
here is a list of all the Harry Potter drinks. I don't know what's included or not, but they got butterbeer, frozen butterbeer, hot butterbeer, pumpkin juice, tongue tying lemon squash, otters fizzy orange juice, fishy green ale, peach tree fizzling tea, and gilly water. Well, gilly water is just the water, but you can also buy some of the alcoholic versions. That's not included in your ticket. You have to pay for those, but you can get them during the event. Look at this. I am in shock. That's it? I think so. I think so. Yeah, that's all of them. <laughs> One of everything. I think this is like a $100 tray right here. Easily. Oh, wow. Look at that skill. <laughs> I can't wait to try all these. If you've ever wanted to try all the Harry Potter drinks in one shot, this is the best time to do it because or else it's going to cost you a lot of money and this is like going to be fun. I don't think I'm going to drink every single one of them. I'm just going to try it. But I didn't know they were all available and now I am excited. I would have done this last time. So I've had all the butter beers before. I didn't get all three butter beers. I just got the cold one because I wanted to keep it all like cold beverages right now. I will be getting a hot butter beer later on, but this one is the butter beer. Then we got the pumpkin juice, and then we've got the uh, tongue tying lemon squash, and then we've got the otter's fizzy orange juice, which is really fancy because it's got like a salted rim or sugary rim with an orange, and then the fishy green ale, and then the peach tree fizzling tea. And we're gonna try a little bit of all of them. Let's start off with the butter beer because I've had it so many times and I love it. Oh, much too good. Now we got the pumpkin juice. Very, very good. The lemon one. I've never had that before. I like it. It's got a strange taste to it. I like it a lot. Now the orange juice one. I like that one too. I like all of them. Now the fishy green ale. Mmm. It's got bobo balls in it. Wow. And now the peach tree. I don't like that at all. Oh. <laughs> Butter beer is my favorite. And then the pumpkin juice, then the orange one, then the fishy green ale, then the lemon one, and then the peach tree, which I really didn't like at all. <laughs> but that's my order and that's how I like them. So, so good. This was such a fun experience. I'm really happy I did it. I've never had half of these before. As I was drinking my Harry Potter drinks, it looks like the food is out. We've got salads and cottage pie. Looks really fancy. You can't really tell with the heat lamps, but it looks cool. Look at that stuff right there. That's good. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> The idea behind tonight is to sample everything and not eat any large quantities of any one particular item. So I just asked for like a little tiny scoop, scoopsy of uh, shepherd's pie, scoopsy potato. It's so funny because the way he put it in there, it was like scoopsy potato. If any of you guys know what I'm talking about when I say that, let me know in the comments because it's really funny and it's something that I laugh at every single time. Here we go, first bite of the night. Oh, that's good. See, this is where it gets dangerous because I want to eat more. But I shouldn't eat more because I'm going to be eating a lot more. Does it make sense? I shouldn't eat more because I'm going to be eating a lot more. A lot more. <laughs> I don't want to say goodbye. I don't want to because it's so good, but there's other things we have to try. Well, that was a good start to the night. A little bit of shepherd's pie and all of the Harry Potter drinks. I figure since we're here, we're gonna actually get all the food items that we can get. And that is including the ice cream. It's raining at the moment, but look how empty it is over here. Now it's time to get some ice cream. 
I've had a lot of the ice creams from in here, like the butterbeer ice cream and the thin mint one. But today I want to try like something different, even though I do want to get the butterbeer because it's my favorite. But it's about trying things that uh, you normally don't try because then you have no regret if you don't like it. You know what I mean? Because you didn't really pay for it. I mean, you paid for it up front, but like you didn't like pay pay for it. It feels different. It hits differently. I might try the clotted cream, the Earl Grey and Lavender, or the Sticky Toffee Pudding. Like I said, there's a lot of different offerings that we could try that I've never had before. I'm just kind of torn. Oh, strawberry and peanut butter? That's going to be like a strange combo. There we go. I ended up getting the Earl Grey and Lavender, and then I got the Sticky Toffee, and then the Strawberry Peanut Butter. I asked if I can get little sample size, but they said no, because if they actually do that, everybody will come in and try samples, because there's so many samples. So we're just gonna kinda just take a little bit of each. First, the Toffee Pudding one. Wow, that is so good. Holy moly. Strawberry peanut butter, what a combination, right? Well, it kind of reminds me of a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Like, now that I think about that, wow, that's actually really enjoyable. Huh. Mm. Now, the lavender. Lavender is really hard. Ooh. Okay, lavender, here we go. That's unique too. It's like some kind of special stuff right there. Ooh, let's say the toffee. Toffee was my favorite. Then the strawberry peanut butter, and then the lavender. I think we've officially tried all the snacks over here. So we're gonna be making our way out of Diagon Alley. The only thing is, is like I said, the rain has actually started to be a little bit heavier. So uh, we're gonna have to duck and cover and run. I always love looking at the dark mark right here. It's always fun. I think we're gonna just go to the next place that's closest to King's Cross Station so that way we don't get caught in the rain. But honestly, it is so empty here. I mean, normally the meetup is pretty empty, but because of the rain, a lot of people aren't here or they're actually just like hiding out. And I don't mind the rain because everything's indoors, really. Like uh, like the, some of the rides over on Islands Adventure, those are a lot of outdoor ones. But over on Universal side, everything's indoors. Now we're gonna make our way over to Finnegan's because this was one of my favorite spots at the last meetup. I love getting the bread pudding and they had the wings in here. I don't know if they got the same things, but we're gonna find out. Silver bells, it's Christmas time at Universal. Oh, look at this. We got some chicken wings. Absolutely, I'll take uh, one chicken wing. Just one? Yep. Uh, yeah, let's do a flat. Team flats right here. <laughs> and then, oh, what do we got? Uh, oh, yeah, no celery, no carrots. What? No, none of that. Uh, yeah, a beef pasty. We'll do one of those too. Perfect. Oh, thank you. And we can't forget about the good bread pudding. There it is, with whiskey sauce. Is that the whiskey sauce right there? Right there, right here. Whiskey sauce it up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You Thank you. Oh yeah. Much too good right here. Here we go. My favorite from last year's Orlando Informer meetup. The bread pudding with the whiskey sauce. And she really whiskey sauced it up. And then they got the wings and the, the uh, little beef, uh, the beef patties. And uh, we're going to dive right in. I love how she said uh, just one wing and I was like, oh yes gotta watch I gotta eat a lot tonight and I went team flats because I'm team flats let me know if you're team drumsticks or team flats but flats all the way for me Ooh, I could have done the wing trick the wings have a little spice to them I'd say they're like a medium sauce not a mild a medium and now for this little guy oh yeah but the thing I've been waiting for look at this bad boy Oh, so good. The good stuff right here. Oh boy. It's gonna be hard not to eat all this. 
I'm walking away from the bread pudding. I want to eat more, I want to eat it all, but can't do that. We got much more ahead. Before we bounce to islands though, we need to stop at the Monsters Cafe. It's a have to for me. Earlier when we were talking about french fries and them just being like generic french fries around the park That is not the case here at Monsters Cafe. The french fries here are amazing They're crinkle cuts and they got like a nice little season on them And I love to get the prime rib sandwich if they have it or the brisket sandwich not prime rib I hope they have it. We'll check They do have the brisket sandwich and they also have chicken and then here's the french fries that I was talking about. These are some good stuff right there. They also have some broccoli and cauliflower and then a s'mores cookie. You know, a little s'mores cookie. They were a little bit more accommodating with the uh, portion control here. I asked them for just the brisket on, their, on its own. I could have got the sandwich with the Texas toast, but you know, trying to save room and the meat is what I like the most. So I just got a little bit of brisket and then I asked for just like a couple french fries and they did. I think they gave me like nine fries. So I'm excited. I'm going to try my favorite thing. So like I said, no bread and what I want to do is I want to take the prime rib and I'm going to kind of wrap it around a french fry like this. Look at this, perfect. And then we're going to dip it in barbecue sauce. Bon appetit. Seriously, this is so, so good. And like I said, I come just for the brisket alone and just getting it without the, the toast and all the sides that come with it, good enough for me. Monsters Cafe never disappoints. Also, I want to point out that every single ride over on Universal side right now is a five minute wait. There are no waits at all. I was able to ride Mummy earlier. I want to ride some more rides. That's why we're going to actually go over to Islands. Now that the rain stopped, I think we might be able to get on Velocicoaster or Hagrid's because that would be amazing. Earlier they were down because of the rain and uh, now I think they're back up. One of the best things is you don't actually have to leave the park to go over to Islands. You can just cross right here and they'll let you go through. So it's really awesome. Like they have a separate cross area and you kind of get to see a little bit behind the scenes. And take a look at this. Beetlejuice is actually out greeting and walking around and meeting people. You don't see that often. Hey, how are you? Oh, very good, very good. <sighs> I think my hat actually matches your... A little bit, a little bit, right? Thin stripes. Dead night though, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got some friends. They're waving high. I think they like you. Keep on looking over here. Now they're taking photos. Uh, yeah, hi! <laughs> I don't know that guy. I don't know him. <laughs> How awesome is it to see a character performer out roaming around and not wearing a mask? Like, that's, that's pretty amazing, right? This is the way to actually get over to Islands of Adventure. And earlier I was telling you about all the rides actually having no weight. Take a look at Despicable Me. Right now it just says, Ride now. Ride now. No wait. <laughs> oh, see? I'll pass. I think we're going to be coming out right in Grinchmas here. So that's a little fun. Now that we're officially over here, we got to keep our eyes peeled for the Grinch. Thank you. What's up, dude? What is up? How yeah. are you? It's another day, another migraine. But I wear it well, don't you, you think? I think you do. I haven't seen you in like two years. Two years? Two years. Well, it's been a pretty solid two years not having to deal with you, Flatfoot! Flatfoot! <laughs> ah, just jerking your chain. Oh, so, I like it. It's like fun. It? Yeah. I'm giving people good fun nicknames this year. I've got Flatfoot, I've got Flegal Horse, and so far I've got Beetlezebub, but people have weird reactions to that one. Beetlezebub. 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 Yeah, I thought it had a nice ring to it. I like it. I thought I'd at least rip a whole bunch of gifts for Beetlezebub, so that way to see who they end up under the trees this year. Oh. Who knows? Do you like my hat? Uh, chapeau. Yes. Don't hesitate. Yes. Any sweet plans this holiday season? Anyone you'd like me to say hello to for a special quality holiday message? My mom. Your mom? <laughs> What's your mom's name? Cindy. Bye, Cindy. Bye, Cindy. Happy holidays. Nailed it. Thank you. All right, just kidding. Hey, Cindy. Happy holidays. Make sure that you are showered with gifts this year. If he doesn't pull his weight, let me know. I'll handle it personally. 
Message received. Thank you so Perfect. much. Thank Gosh. you. <laughs> Thanks for being tolerable, dude. Oh, no, no. Pleasure's all mine. <laughs> I think we can all agree that the Grinch is the best at being the worst. Like, <laughs> that was such an amazing, like, meet and greet. And he wasn't wearing his mask. Like, that stuff is so awesome. And it's so happy to see the world back in order. One of the places I've never eaten at is the Circus McGurkis Cafe. So I think we're going to go in and see what they got going on in here. I love coming in here. This is my first time gonna be eating here. I usually just uh, go about the uh, Seuss trolley train because it actually takes you inside here. And I don't think the Seuss trolley train is running right now because of the rain, but, oh, it is running? Ooh, I might actually go for a ride on that. I always love the Seuss trolley train. Looks like we've got a bunch of tots here. They got pizza tots, buffalo chicken tots, and green eggs and ham tots. That is interesting. A lot of it all has cheese on it though, so I'm not too excited about that. I think I want to try the green eggs and ham, but I also want to try the pizza tots. Here is the green eggs and ham tots. I think I'll take some of that. And then also the pizza tots over here. I like the lighting in here, but here is the green eggs and ham tots. And it has like a white cheese sauce on it. So I'm going to try not to get that in it but I do want to get some of the green eggs there. So we're going to try this one first. Tastes like tots. And then uh, the pizza tots. And this one actually, there's only three tater tots in here. Like, isn't that funny? There's one, two, three, three tater tots. Oh, here comes the Sue's trolley train. Hi. <laughs> Oh, back to the tots. There's only three in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little pepperoni. I'm going to take this little tot right here. I'm going to add a little pepperoni on top of it. And then a little bit of sausage right on top of that. So then you got tot, cheese, pepperoni, sausage, the total package. I like that better. Now I think we're going to actually go to the left. Normally, I'd probably head straight back on over to Hogsmeade, but I think we'll go to Superhero Island and kind of make our way like around. The Hulk has a no weight either. It's right now. Right now if you want. <laughs> I have a feeling that Cafe 4 is basically the same as Louis Pizza. I don't know if that's correct or not. We're going to take a look-see, and if I think it's different, maybe we'll get a slice. Well, it looks like they have like a different service here. They don't have like spaghetti and meatballs. They have uh, spaghetti with meat sauce. And then that's the Alfredo. This is it just grab and go? Oh, you got some chocolate cake there? Is this the same pizza as Louis Pizza, you think? Over Universal side? I think it would be, right? The chocolate cake, they don't got that there. <laughs> I like how everything's just kind of grab and go here. It's much different. But I really think this is uh, the same pizza. Let me know if you guys think the pizza is the same or if you know. I just kind of think it looks like it. The only thing different in there is you can get the chocolate cake. Um, but I didn't want to just grab a chocolate cake for a chocolate cake. I already had a cannoli and we've had you know, quite a few uh, sweets. If anything, I would have eaten more of the uh, bread pudding. But I think the Green Goblin's walking around right now. He's going to try to scare those people. They don't know what's about to happen. I should warn them. I might have felt a little bit bad if the Green Goblin really scared <laughs> that family, but uh, they, I don't think he scared them at all. Looks like Spider-Man is a 10 minute wait? 10 minute wait. Doesn't look like a 10 minute wait. I guarantee it's a ride now. Ride now. Other than Cafe 4, they have Captain America Diner, which is basically like the same burgers you would get over on Universal side. So, I mean, there's really, really not anything to get here. I mean, it's cool because you get to ride the Hulk, and it was also cool we got to see the Green Goblin, but uh, maybe we should have went the other way. <laughs> and now for one of the greatest perks of the Orlando Informer is being able to ride the Pterodon Flyers. This is something you normally can't do unless you have a child with you. They don't let adults do it on their own, but only at the Orlando Informer, you have the opportunity to do it, and we're gonna do it today. 
you end up actually getting one of these tickets that give you a return time to come and ride. Isn't that pretty amazing? So awesome. And like I said, this is very rare. Universal won't let us actually... Oh, there goes Velocicoaster and the Flyers at the same time. Holy moly. I was just about to say something important. I was about to say Universal doesn't let you film on a ride. So I'm just going to be able to show you the loading and unloading process. And uh, I mean, I'm just excited to ride myself. This is such a cool ride. And I only get to do it whenever it's in Orlando Informer. So it's a rare treat. It's a rare treat for me. I think somebody should be coming in right behind them here. I can hear them. Whoa. Any second. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> there they go. It takes you up. And then you go fly. You, you get on the back of a banshee and uh, fly. And now we're off. So we'll see you when we get done. That was amazing. I loved it so much. I love that so much. It is such a fun ride. I think it's the fact that you can't do it all the time that you love it more. I like just watching it take off too. Here comes a ghost one. I like as you're leaving too, it looks like you're actually going into the Raptor containment area. This is like super scary. Before we actually go ride Velocicoaster, maybe we should stop and say hi to Blue. It is very cool that the Raptor encounter is actually up and running right now. And it says it's only a 10 minute wait. So I'm all game for that. I'm gonna go say hi to a raptor. Good girl, thank you. Nope, she's getting frustrated. She's frustrated. Get out of there. Get out of there. Wait for me, right? Oh, to thank line. you. Blue. Hi, Blue. Oh. Say hi. Hi, Blue. Hi. <laughs> thank you. I'm uh, happy to be here. Oh wow. <laughs> That is it. That's intense. That's bro. Yes. Okay, we're gonna do a photo yeah, real quick. Take a picture because I'm not going in it there. It was there. Yes. Yeah. I wouldn't either. Yeah. But thank you, Blue. <laughs> thank you. See, 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 see. Yep. How awesome was it to meet Blue? That was so cool. But now I think it's time. Maybe we go uh, ride Velocicoaster. Coaster. Should be shooting off any second here. Or maybe my timing is just completely bad. Yeah, I think we'll just go down there. <laughs> I just met a family and they told me that it was uh, like basically a walk-on for Velocicoaster. So now I am so excited. Oh wow, they got some street performers over here too. I've never seen this before. Wow. That is so awesome. Wow. Look at this. 15 minutes. I don't think it's a 15 minute wait either. Oh, these floors are very wet. Don't break dance here. Oh, wow. The last time I rode it, I was waiting all the way back there. <laughs> Amazing. I love it at night. It's so, so much better at night. And there was no weight. No weight at all. And now from Velocicoaster to Hogsmeade. Look at that. I think it's time for another butterbeer. I think everyone can agree on that. Wow, look at it over here. All this open space. I don't know what I should get. Should I get a hot butterbeer? I think I want a hot butterbeer, right? Wow, would you take a look at this? It looks like Hagrid's is a uh, 15 minute wait. That is pretty, that's pretty amazing. 
I think we can get hot butter beer in three broomsticks. And also we can see what they have to eat. I'm really not that hungry, but I would like to see what they have. I don't think there's gonna be anywhere else I plan on stopping and getting something to eat. So this is always kind of like my last stop anyway, or my first. Well, now I think we're gonna head right on into the three broomsticks. This is probably gonna be the most fulfilling meal that you can get here. Like, uh, it's definitely like a big, big portion. Funny thing is, is I waited longer for three broomsticks than I did for Velocicoaster, but we're almost there. You don't have to choose anything here. They literally just give you a little bit of everything. Ooh. And then look at the size of these items over here. This is an apple pie right here, and then a shepherd's pie, and then a salad. I'm gonna grab an apple pie, but I'm not gonna eat all that. I definitely wasn't gonna be able to eat the ribs and chicken and the potatoes and corn, and they weren't actually like uh, separating things, so you actually just grabbed a plate and went. So instead, I just uh, decided on trying the apple pie and the hot butter bar. Hot butter bar. <laughs> I can't wait to see what's inside this apple pie. Look at that. I can see the raisins in there. Here we go, we're gonna give it a crow. This reminds me of a way better Burger King apple pie. You ever have the Dutch apple pie? from Burger King, it's exactly what it reminds me of. Hot butter beer is completely on another level though. So, so good. It's like creamier, I feel like. Wow, so, so amazing. And you have to get it from Three Broomstick. I went to go to Hogshead and they were all sold out. So Three Broomstick, I would check that first. Or if you get in line at Hogshead, ask them before you actually wait there. I think we're just gonna keep moving along though. Hot butter beer in hand. Seriously, that's just, just so good. Oh man. And I love coming over here at night. It's so pretty, right? Look at all the lights. And it's like nobody over here. And I think with that, we're gonna call it a night. It was fun and we got to do a lot. We get to try a lot of different food items. We got to ride Velocicoaster, Terranano Flyers. Uh, I almost did Hagrid's, but I was like, you know what? I think I'd rather go home. I'm gonna go back to the room. I wanna see Gracie and uh, kind of just relax. I mean, it was a fun night. Like I said, we got so much accomplished. Orlando Informer is so worth it, especially if you only plan on coming to Universal like once on your vacation. You know what I mean? If you're coming down to Orlando for a week and you come to Orlando, like uh, Universal for like one or two nights, and if it happens to be nights that the Orlando Informer are happening, get the tickets. You will not regret it. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.